this is my Olympia SM9 from 1970 or in 69 I can't really find this uh, the fi uh, information about it on Google um, I got this for five bucks um, it is in good condition uh, not mint actually great I will say great it's in great condition um, past Saturday I went to the junk store and that lady comes walking to me that works there and says yes we do have a typewriter for sale for you so uh, and my dad was even faster by the machine than I was so I opened it up and I knew it was this machine so uh, we bought it for five dollars and brought it home and when I, before I started cleaning I found out it was a German keyboard as you can see here's the Z and here's the Y instead of here's the Z and there's the Y it's because of a German <clears throat> it's kind of confusing when you're typing fast but I'm getting used to it a um, few minor things are that one of the paper supports is broken off as you can see the plastic paper support and that one is missing and the side knob is bent a bit I got it bent back so it's more straight than it was before I bought it <coughs> and there's a few minor scratches like that one and the scrape along the bottom line um, beside that I couldn't find any scratch you can see that the keys have been hit a lot some of them and when I found it was so dirty it like the colored parts looked like they were gray and um, also decided because of the dirt and the key there were stains all over the machine and when I found it it was not in great condition um, yeah uh, that was a bit of a boo-boo but uh, beside that I got it fixed and working and it is in great condition <clears throat> great condition right now there is one rust spot and that's this part as you can see I can't get it away it is uh, in there and it's the only part I could find that was rusted Beside that it is yeah that's all and I don't know how to get rid of it and I don't want to scrape it off because I'm afraid to damage the machine I got some off but not all of it so I'm sorry for that <clears throat> Like I said, it's a German keyboard. Uh, some of the features are uh, the tabulator and the, the the clear and the set button. These four dots are the margin release. So, the character is unlocked. I push it all the way to the end. Oh, wait, I do it like this. I hear the bell. It's all the way to the end now. And I hit this button. See what happens. You see, now I can keep on going. So yeah, it is a nice big space bar, works great, as you can see. Uh, like I said, one of the paper supports is missing. The bell chimes. Uh, I cleaned out the rubber ro like the rollers, as you can see, it's, they're pretty clean. Uh, the rubber roller is in great shape. Um, it has some, I think it has been used enough because it has some white out on it, but no cracks or chips or anything. This plastic part is also in mint condition. Uh, the margin sets work great and this is the carriage lock which also works now it's locked hit this button on the side here and you're gonna release the paper spot there you go oh that yeah paper spot there we go and uh, uh, this button is the all release for the tabulator settings color selector and touch control uh, I love the lever on the side, which is really nice and big and works great. It has uh, one, one and a half, and two spaces, or I don't know, actually, I haven't figured it out yet. Uh, carriage release. Yeah. Uh, I'm to show you the inside. Here's the inside. Uh, that blue is in great condition beside that rust spot over there. Uh, the ribbon in it is. Yeah. Uh, I, they came with the machine and worked fine. Uh, SM9s have a bigger pin to hold the spools in than the other machines I found out, so I have to use these spools. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the, the, the ribbon has been used, but it's still usable and gives us off a lot of ink. This red part was actually black of the oil and the dirt that was on there. 
Uh, here, this is still in good condition. Uh, one, two. So yeah, here it is. That red. You also have that with the SM three, fours, and fives, and all that. Keep on going. And then we have the inside here. As you can see, that's the blue part. I like that too. Uh, as you can see, it's still a bit dusty and dirty. You know, I can just take it off a bit with my finger. That's just what you get when it all comes out. And I didn't. Uh, I, I used the machine a lot after I cleaned it up, so that's probably the dirt that came out of after I started typing. I will clean it up though. And uh, that one is also that part was also also black just because of the dirt. Um, maybe you can see it a little bit. I don't know. I don't see the. It looks like there is like a. I kind of look weird in the camera. It is, it is flat. It looks weird, but it is flat and clean. So I don't know why my camera shows it like that. That's weird. Anyway, on that side was an, uh, a sticker which came off as really quickly, and that said it was immigrant like the it was uh, posted from Germany to here, and. Um, so I uh, and what I found out that the washing machine had no dust on it, only dirt. So I assume that this machine has been used recently, which is good uh, because the <coughs> mechanisms get working very fine. So it's good that that that, that it has been used. As it has been used a lot, and I think that immigrants from Germany. Uh, just said when I got here we don't need it anymore and got uh, dropped it off at the junk store where I bought it so that's probably why the sticker was on the side like I said there's one minor spot here so yeah <coughs> there's this Olympia on the back it says Olympia, you know, Berke AG Wilhelmshaven, made in Germany. So, yeah. Uh, part of it is white, part of it is gray, as you can see. Uh, this is even in pretty good condition. Usually, you have like all marks around here because of going in and out of the case so many times, but this time it doesn't. So. Yeah. <coughs> Then maybe no I don't have any paper I thought of doing a typing sample but I unfortunately I can't sorry I will post that on different videos so <sighs> it's the bottom feet are in great condition so yeah it came in that case so it's a great working machine I used it a lot since I got it uh, it taps really smoothly. Um, maybe I have some. I, I thought of having some paper in here I can use just to show you the print, but unfortunately I can't see any usable paper. Sorry for that, no paper. Uh, so, yeah. Here's the story of my Olympia SM9. So, yeah. Like I said, I love the big long lever and the yeah, the good platinum and the paint and all that, and it just feels so smooth. And the trick of having good paint soft is just to wash it with dishwashing soap or an all-surface spray. That makes it really good. Just rub it in with a soft sponge, and that'll do the trick. So yeah, this machine doesn't have a zero, so you have to use the shift and the O. Uh, God, I wish I had a. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. I think I found just something. Yes, we did. I found some paper. What a relief. Uh, I'm afraid I have to do it with one hand, though, because. I don't do it. I just type out 
the great brown fox jumped over the lazy dog, which uses every letter in the alphabet. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. But like, put me down or what? It's not that great, but I can try. Okay. Yeah, I have to do it with one hand still, but okay. That that's the part that is hard because of the switch keys. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, as you can see. And it also does it in red. In red. So let's try that part. Yeah. That's better. So okay, here we go. Uh, put it in red. Oh, wrong key. As you can see, you see on the red tape the printing I'm just typing out. Quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So yeah, here it is. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Like I said, it works great. Great machine. I would advise this for any writer who wants to, I don't know, begin the story, old school or anything like that. So, yeah. Uh, actually, I'm now looking for an SM7, but I haven't found one like that yet, so. But I'm great already with my SM9, so, yeah. Thanks for looking for my video. Bye.